when I talked to the police officers today at my house about the purpose of my letter, uh, what I said is that I'm trying to out undercover agents and sh the female police officer told me uh, that you can't out female, uh, you can't out undercover cops. They, it's like, no one's ever going to tell you who's an undercover cop. That's not what they do. And what I told her is I'm trying to get them to call the DA's office and to confirm my story. Because if, if someone calls the DA's office and confirms that I am a suspected, I'm suspected of drug trafficking or I'm suspected of being a part of a drug trafficking organization and they confirm my story that I have been harassed a lot. And then the DA goes, well, that's irrelevant to his case. That's, that, that's irrelevant. Like whether or not he got threatened with a gun is completely irrelevant in this case. Um, then that would be what's called obstruction of justice because the DA can't ignore evidence like that when my whole thing is that I got threatened and I didn't even respond within, to, with telling a person that they're in imminent danger because what is, what is felony menacing? It's saying you're in imminent danger. I have a weapon. What I actually said is please be careful when you're, when you fake like you're drawing a gun on me because I'm worried I'm going to end up shooting you because the last thing I'm going to do is hold my gun out while you shoot me. There's no way I'm going to draw a gun unless I'm going to shoot it. And so the DA's office, if, they know that there is a major drug lab here, but then they're all saying, oh no, there are drug labs everywhere. I don't know why, there drug labs are everywhere. It's just not a big deal. Yeah. Uh, how many LSD labs have been busted in history? Like one in all of history, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, that's the thing about like people that think that that's irrelevant and that's why they're obstructing justice. Um, it's not irrelevant. And that's the thing about the criminal justice system, which is supposed to be based on the constitution and it is not. Why? Because the drug war, the drug war completely changed people's view of the constitution. It completely made it so that any case ever, no, we can't, you don't get to be confronted with your witnesses. You don't get to be confronted by the people that are making accusations against you because I just decided that the constitution's irrelevant. So the constitution has been thrown out for a while because of Reagan, Ronald Reagan and his drug war. But, um, all I'm trying to say is, um, if you're a police officer or a federal agent that knows for a fact that I'm not crazy, say you're from Los Angeles and you know, I'm not crazy. You should call Dan May up and say, Hey dude, uh, he's not crazy. I, I promise. Uh, and then if you've called him and then I, that information is not presented to the courtroom, then what I think you should do is you should go make it public. You should let everyone know that the DA of Colorado Springs is obstructing justice because I guarantee you that this story can be confirmed. There's no doubt in my mind that there are people that don't want to even tell me that they're undercover cops. So, um, yeah, call the DA.